Good morning, guys. I'm going to give you a minute to join me. I know some of you want to do this with me. We are making donuts. Yummy. So I'm just going to wait for you to come and join me. Like I just said, I repeat myself. Sorry, so I'm really nervous. I think it's because I'm not confident because I've only made donuts once, so it's a bit intimidating in case it all goes wrong. But hey ho, we'll see what happens. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is wash your hands. So I'm just going to do that. We're going to wash our hands. Oh, someone's joined. And that's Joe, not 100%. So we're just going to wash our hands quickly. Want nice clean hands. Yes, we do. Okay. Make sure you dry them. Oh, we've got someone else, Mandy. Morning. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm a bit nervous. Don't know why. I haven't done the. Hi, Joe. Hey. <laughs> Shirley. Hi. Mandy. Hi. Oh, you're making me more nervous. Okay. That's cool. I can do this. Right. So. Waiting for Dom as well, because I know he wanted to join in whilst we were doing this. So I've got to wait a few more minutes. Let's go through the ingredients first. So, this is a, a recipe that I found online. So I'm just basically copying it. So you need 250 grams of plain or self raising flour. I say or because I didn't have plain flour. I couldn't find plain flour, so I thought, you know what, I'll just try it with self-raising. Turned out alright, so, yeah, see what happens. Yeah, so you need 250 grams of that. Hi, Mandy. Um, you need half a spoonful of salt. You need 70 grams of butter, cold if you can. You need 170 mils of, oh thank you Shirley, um, yeah you need 170 mils of milk. Now they say that much, I didn't actually use that much, so give and take. You also need a, what else do you need, can you tell I'm reading? Um, you also need a teaspoon of baking powder. You will also need a rolling pin, yes, because we roll it out. I take it that's a teaspoon of salt. No, that's a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, don't get that muddled. I don't know what it's going to do, but I won't get that muddled. Obviously, you need a mixing bowl. Um, you don't need really a spoon because you've got to use your hands. Take your rings off because the dough gets stuck in your rings. I can't get mine off. Oh, done it. Right, put them in a safe place. Right, so you've got that as well. You're going to need the rolling pin. Did I say that? I can't remember. Brain's gone. Boo. Um, to roll it out. Yes, roll. Uh, you're also going to need something to... Oh, okay, you didn't say. Oh, sorry. Uh, you're also going to need something to cut out the circular for the donuts, right? So, last time I made quite big ones. I don't know if you saw the pictures. This time, I want to make some big ones and some little ones. So, I found this. It has two cutters on it. So, I'm going to use a little one for the little ones. Big one for the big ones. Uh, how I made the hole in the big ones, I used the lid of the uh, milk and washed it out. I used that, I'm going to do that again. For the little ones, I haven't got nothing small enough to make the hole, so I'm going with one of these. Trial and error, isn't it? See what happens, I guess. So, yeah, see, yeah. Okay, so, we are going to start, I think. Oh, before we start, you need to, you should have a pan or wok that you can fill with oil. Um, I filled mine about halfway and it's a wok. I'm showing you, you can't really see it, but yeah. We're going to turn that on now. 
paint needs to be really hot for the dough to go in. Also, you need to get a bowl of sugar ready because as soon as the donut's done, you've got to plonk them in the sugar, wrap it around really quick, and then put it in your container. So make sure you've got a bowl full of sugar. Mm, helps the medicine go down. Yeah, and then you need obviously your container to put in your donuts. Yummy. Right, <clears throat> so cooker is on. Got my ingredients ready. Hope you got yours too. And we shall begin. So, first things first, I'm going to move the camera so you can all see what's happening. So, yep, I think you guys can see that. Yep. Hi, Evelyn. So, you put in your flour, like so. You put in your butter, like so. Um, and then you put in your teaspoon, which is here, half a teaspoon of salt, okay? Just half. So we'll, we'll kind of semi-judge that, like so. Yeah, that'll do. We don't want too much salt, do we? And then you also need a teaspoon of uh, Bacardi or soda. So we'll do that as well. So blah, 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 like that, I'd say a teaspoon, plop that in. Lovely jubbly. The messy part. Then we are mixing this bad boy up like so. So you mix it until it goes like breadcrumbs. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, so just carry on mixing it all until it all goes like breadcrumbs. Right, we are doing very messy. Quite fun though, I feel like a kid. Hayley, morning! We are making donuts. If you want to join in, you need 250 grams of plain or self raising flour, half a teaspoon of salt, 70 grams of cold butter, one teaspoon of baking powder. 170 ml of milk and then you put it all in apart from the milk which we are doing now and make it sort of like breadcrumbs like so I think that's breadcrumby enough I hope get a good old mix up lovely <sighs> Reminds me of being a child doing this. Good fun. Okay. So when you've got your breadcrumbs like this. Oh, lovely, lovely. Then you start adding the milk. Add the milk really slow. As I learnt from the first time I did it. So just one little bit. And then we're going to start mixing that up. So what you're trying to achieve is a dough. Okay, that we can roll out. Never said it was easy. When I made this the other day, obviously I wasn't live, thank God. Um, I put too much milk, so I added a bit more flour. And luckily that got it. So, there is a way to save it. Yep, so just keep adding your milk until you've got a dough that you can roll okay it's so not there yet something to do with not that normally i go down for market and buy their little mini donuts i love them but obviously that's not open so making my own Right, it's starting to go a bit doughy, but it's also still quite crumbly, so guess what? I need more milk. Ugh, messy. 
so messy it's all right we can tidy up after can't we so <coughs> yeah it's starting to go doughy now okay so yeah starting to come together mix that milk in nicely um i'm sure you can use alternative milks if you don't have milk um just trial and error i guess i'm not a pro at this so you know please don't judge me if it goes all wrong okay i think a little bit more milk because it's still a little bit crumbly not a lot <clears throat> I'm really worried that um, I'll do it too much again. I don't want to do that. Okay, we are getting the dough. Yeah, kneel that together. Is that a word? I think that's a word. Make sure you can put all dough up. Like so. Blech. So messy. Okay, we can do this. Okay, so we have a messy, nice dough, yeah? Gonna just try and roll that in some form of ball. Not to throw it too much, because we've got to put flour down to roll it out, so that'll moist, uh, dry it out a little bit. Right, I think that's doughy enough. I think that's doughy enough, right. So, and get as much of fingers as you can yeah i think we'll be all right like that lovely all right so once you've done that you're gonna move your bowl out the way and you have a bowl and you have a bowl because they just get in the way don't they right for plonking this down yes i did clean this beforehand Get your flour and just sprinkle it over where you're going to roll it out because otherwise it'll stick and we don't want that, do we? No. Okay, right. So just put a bit of flour on there. Right, you get your rolling pin and you roll, you want it about a centimetre thick now if you're crap with numbers like more just roll it to whatever you think's best obviously you don't want it too fat obviously it ain't gonna work is it i've got to really stop talking like that haven't i i don't mean to it just happens okay so beautiful Right, now, before cutting, you need like a tray or something to put what you've cut out on ready. So I'm just going to do that. She says, I've got one. Oh, she says. Oh my goodness, don't worry, it's all safe. We're not. Right, get a tray. Pull them to do that. So like I said, I'm going to do some big ones, cut them out, like that, get your milk bottle lid, and put it in the middle to cut out your centre, like so, okay, that gives you your donut. And what happens in the pan is magic. It just explodes. It's so cool. Um, we'll roll that out in a minute. So we're going to do some big ones. Ooh. All right. Milk bottle. Like so. Oh, wrong way around. Go cut it. I'm going to put the milk bottle lid in it and then we're going to do a bit of that, lovely jubbly. 
hopefully in the meantime your pan is getting lovely and hot so I've made what four rings four big rings um, the rest of the day I'm going to use for little ones I don't know if you want to do that or you might not want to do that it's up to you so all I'm going to do get that all back together like that if it gets a bit crackly just add a bit more milk and we'll moisten it back up again like that Gonna roll her out again like so right remember you don't want it too thin so we are rolling little ones out now to make the mini donuts Now, I wasn't sure how to make the hole in the middle, so I got one of these and I'm literally not even in the middle, but hey ho, I'm making a hole, my own little hole. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, it's trial and error, trial and error, but yeah, we'll give that a go and try and get in the middle, shall we? Whoop. Now, if there's three people in here, keep your comments to yourself. Right. Beautiful. Not sure how this is going to go at all with the mini ones. But don't try. You don't know. Oh, gosh. Right. So, we are... Basically, making our own little hole. Look like um, and party biscuits. Can't think what they're called. There we go. Da, 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 da. So yeah, you guys should have what I've got. Uh, four big rings. I've got four little rings. I might make a couple more little rings. Oh yes, I've already done that. Oh dear, brain not working. Quite a messy one this, isn't it? So yeah, just lovely jubbly. See what happens. I tell you, I was so surprised how well they like puff up when um, they go in the oil. I know oil isn't that good for you, deep fat, whatnot, but no it's got to be done right and then with your leftover dough you can roll it out do it again or we can try and make some um 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 whole donuts so that's what i'm gonna also try so all we're doing for that is rolling a ball i'm gonna add a bit of milk with my hands just to make it so it's a bit less crackly like that easier to roll as well she says <sighs> one obviously it's not perfect this is only the second time I've ever done this that's why I'm a bit nervous about doing it live but we're getting there hi Jazz hope you're well um yeah so like so i think that's gonna explode but we'll see pinch that together lovely jubbly right so you should have something like this got some big ones and little ones and some whole ones and afterwards we're going to attempt to put jam in the middle don't know about that yet but we'll see okay Wash your hands again because you're all doughy. No, I'm not calling you doughs, you're just doughy. Right, I'm going to rinse those hands. Do a good old wash. Like so. 
Right, so now I'm going to take you over to the hot pot pan. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, so I need to unplug myself. I've got to put it on charge. Right, okay, so we have our nice hot pan there. And this is where the magic happens, I guess. So we've got a sugar, we've got a pot to put it in, we've got a hot wok there with lots of oil in, sorry, don't mean to be so bumpy. Right, <clears throat> move the sugar out there. So the thing I wasn't sure about was how to turn a donut. Well, apparently one of these work really well. So give that a go. And I love this bit, it's really cool. Right, I think you guys can see. So, we'll start with the big ones and plop it in. And you literally just wait and watch it happen. I won't put too many in too quick, she says as she puts her third one in. Because they do, like, get very big. So, just going to wait for this cook. Maybe the pan could have been a bit hotter, but that's all good. So, all you do is wait for it to get bigger, go golden brown. You take it out, dip it in the sugar, put it in your pot. So, yeah, just going to wait for that to happen now. As you can see, they are slowly getting bigger. Right, it take about, what, three to five minutes cook, maybe, give and take. Something fun to do with the kids. If you want to make it more realistic, you could put it in a paper bag and say, here, I've got your donuts from the uh, market. Yep, so as you can see, they are expanding. I think you can see that. Here we are going. Could probably put another one in, couldn't we? Should I put another one in? I don't know. Let's put the last big one in. There we go. Also, you don't want to make these every day, do you? Because uh, we'll be rolling out the front door. Don't want that. Maybe you do want that. I don't want that. <laughs> cool so yeah starting to take shape so all you're waiting for is for it to go golden brown and then you're going to turn it and do exactly the same that is it oh my break no okay don't do it too soon what happens it breaks Oh well, must be the test donut, hey. But as you can see, it's got a lovely brown. The whole thing's going to fall apart now. It didn't fall apart last time. How frustrating. Oh well. Last time, I forgot to put in the... Uh, I forgot what it's called. Baking cardinal of soda. Oh, I did it! Look! I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's try this one. Or is it too soon? Ah, I did it! Ah, catch the donut. There we go. Should we try this one? Mm, a bit nervous now in case that one breaks as well. No, I did it! Okay, so they're cooking like really nicely. So, mmm, yummy, they smell so nice. Who else is cooking along with me? Let me know. They're really yummy. So, let's see how the broken one's breaking. Yeah, she's getting there. So, I'd say that's Lily done. 
Obviously this one is breaking, but it's fine. Just get more bits, hey. That one won't turn. Okay, so let's take the, make sure it's all brown. Oh no, a bit longer, a bit longer. You don't want whitey brown, you want this nice golden brown. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Okay. Oh, hi Jane, how are you? Not heard from you for yonks. Busy times, huh? Okay, so I think we'll go with that. Let's go break again. So lift it. Oh, he died. Ah! This one, the broken ones. Oh my gosh. Right, there we go. Dip it, flip it, whatnot. There we go. So, once you've done that, transfer it over to... Oh! I'm going to get these bits out quickly. Might get a spoon in a minute. Oh, that's hot. Mind your fingers. Hot, hot, hot. Right. Obviously, it's hot. It's bloody thingy-majig, isn't it? Right. Just going to do these little bits. No, I'm not. They don't like me. They don't like me. Okay. I'm guessing these ones done. Yeah. See, golden brown, jubbly. Make sure you dip them nicely and put them in your pot. La 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 la. So, I want to see pictures of your donuts if you decide to make them. I saw Jazz's the other day, they were really cool. Um, I don't think mine are going to turn out as good as yours. Oops, splish splosh. Right, she is all donutted up. Okay, let the fat drip a bit. You don't really want loads of fat, do we? Okay, lovely. Oh, did you see that? It broke. Oh my gosh. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Very hot. I'm not even going to do that bit. So, we're going to see if I'm making such a mess. Is anyone else making a mess? I'm so messy. Nothing changes. Okay, now we're going to go for the equal ones. And we're going to. Plop that in, plop that in. Not sure how these gonna go, whether they're gonna have the hole in the middle or not. Don't know. Trial and error. Like I said, this is the first time I've done little ones. I've only done big ones once. As you see, they're all like popping up lovely. These ones shouldn't take as long to cook. They might, I don't know. These ones I think are gonna take a little bit longer. I might put these in as they're going to take longer. Yeah. As you see, the oil's not quite deep enough. But it's okay. Just have to turn it lots. Oh, these bad boys, they're coming up good. I'm not going to do it too early this time. Okay. Hope your guys' donuts are going well. You know what, I might use a spoon. Yeah, give this quick rinse, hold on. Yeah. Might be easier. Look at them! Ooh, we like it. Okay. They're doing much quicker than the old one. I'm going to turn these. don't even know what they look like, but they look actually really nice. Oh, it's like a snap, crack on pop here. Right, as you see, they're going brown a lot quicker than the other ones, so make sure you turn them quicker. Woo! Oh, 
Oh, come on, turn. There we go. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Right. Now these are going to take longer because obviously they're big load of um, pastry. So bear that in mind. Getting there though, aren't we guys? Hope yours are looking nice. Maybe you should have done these smaller, but it's, it's cool, it's cool. Let's see how these little ones are doing. Yep, a few more minutes, I reckon they will be done too. Happy days. Madeline, hi, how are you? Okay, let's see. Yeah. So again, drip the oil, plonk it in. Oh, so much easier with a spoon. Do it as a spoon, guys. A lot easier. Or whatever you want to call that thing. Drip, drip, drip. Dip, dip, dip. There we go. Drip, drip, drip. Dip, dip, dip. Oh. We have little donuts, we have big donuts and whole donuts. Yum. Okay. I'm not great as cook, but I do like experimenting. It's good fun. It's good fun. Yeah, cover that donut. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Okay. So. Hey, what? Quite hot cooking all this. Ooh. Cool. Right, and these bad boys obviously need a bit longer, like we we're saying. Mind you, that side's definitely done. We're going to turn her over. Oops. Bit. It's a good way to test it though when it breaks. Should we try and step no, Of course, that ain't going to work. Ah oh dear. So I haven't really thought much on how to get jam inside. Because I didn't think that far because I um, didn't know I was really doing it till a minute ago. So I'm hoping this is really done. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. This one's just falling apart on me. This one isn't. I would say that's done though. Maybe. Okay. Look how much oil that uses. Scary. Okay. Alrighty. I would say that is done. Personally. Because it's not, it's quite. Yeah, we'll go with done and hope for the best, maybe. Plop it in the sugar, see what happens. It could be a big, major fail, but it might not be. I'll tell you what is a fail, it's all falling apart on me. Yeah, I'd say that's probably not done, actually. I lie. Okay, we're going to leave that a bit longer. If you look in the middle, it's a bit... Um, oops doughy, too doughy, oops, 
as this one's a mega fail I'll show you it was getting there probably needed a bit longer so we're going to leave that one in and see what happens I could have chucked it back in but I'm not going to I think I moved the camera sorry guys take these bits out yeah, I don't want people getting all sick because it's not cooked properly. Like I said, not done this before. So, it is a trial and error. But, these ones over here look proper yummy. I'm making such a mess. Oh, look. Golden brown, that. So I'm tempted to um, cut it, but I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. Maybe. Right, we're going to leave that in there still. Let's have a look at this one. Obviously it's the broken bit. Chuck that in there. Put a bit of sugar around there. Lovely jubbly. Just looks like a lonely bit of donut. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. I've got a horrible thing. This is not going to work. It is already breaking on me. I'm not sure how to do the big donuts. Let's have a look. This could be a major fail. But it's all good in the hood. Right. I'll plop that in like so. Yeah, it's just falling apart on me. So we are going to leave that. And not worry about that one. Big donuts are really hard apparently. So make sure you turn off your oil because it's very hot. Um, by the end you should have something like this. We have mini donut with no hole or it has got a hole it's still very very hot and we've got the bigger donuts yay um hope you guys enjoyed um if you made them with me do put your pictures up let me know how um how you did i think i would have cut the balls in half yeah that bit's done you could have made that made a ball into jam donuts what the the big one is that the one we're talking about not sure well i would agree apart from it fell apart and it's still really gooey in the middle so no it's not done it's done on the outside not on the inside not so good so i wasn't happy with that one if you cut when it broke it was really gooey like when we first put it in so didn't work but I tried and I hope you guys enjoyed the crazy little uh, cooking donut thing um, and if you did make them with me please post your pictures it'd be nice to see that I'm not the only one who fails with donuts what can I say okay thank you for joining me um, if you want me to try and cook anything else Leave me a message or a thing underneath and maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Love you lots. Thank you for joining. I'll catch you all soon.